Crafty Renate. I am going to do a little review for you guys this week. So it's a Tested Tuesday video and I will be reviewing this new product by L'Oreal and it's the Color Reset Hair Makeup. It's supposed to be a one day hair color and these, this range comes in seven different colors for blonde hair and seven different colors for brown hair. So that's very interesting that they made a distinction between dark hair and light hair. Usually companies don't do that, so I really like that. So I picked the raspberry color, which is a very bright pink, and then a more subtle color, which is the plum, a nice warm purple color. Every package obviously comes with instructions, very simple instructions. No gloves because you don't need gloves, so that is very cool. It doesn't stain your hands or anything. They do suggest that you um, cover your clothes with a towel or something. I don't really think it's necessary, but you know, if the instructions say so, you know, you might want to do that. So yes, let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to use an apron instead of a towel to protect my clothes just because you know, a towel can slide down and everything. And yes, I know this is very attractive. <laughs> it's just an apron I use in my art and craft studio, but never mind that. So here are my two colors that I'm going to be using. I'm going to start with the raspberry. I also got a brush and a comb, some hair ties and some hair clips to get my hair out of the way so I don't color the parts that I don't want to color. And the instructions also say that the texture of your hair might change a little bit, it might be a little bit dry, and you can use a hair oil to fix that. I'm not going to use an actual hair oil, but I'm going to use this product that I really like, and it has oils in it, so it's a leave-in, it'll work. First, I'm going to decide where I want my color to go. So I'm just going to sort of brush my hair a little bit. So I'm just going to part my hair in the middle here and then a little bit to the side where my bangs go. You can just use this product on dry hair so that's very practical. I think I'm just gonna do a strand here. Yep. So yeah, I'm just clipping the rest of my hair out of the way. I'm just gonna use a hair clip instead of the hair elastics because it's a little bit hard right now because you may have noticed that I'm a bit sweaty or a lot sweaty. I really apologize for that, but it's so hot out here still. It's still like 34, 35 degrees here and Celsius, of course. And I've been, my fan is right there. I've literally been grabbing my fan every couple of sentences to just cool off a bit and to let my face dry because I know it's not very attractive to have a wet face on camera but there's really nothing I can do. It's either not film, have the fan on and you don't hear me, or be sweaty. Having said that, now that you know, let me just use it one more time <laughs> before we really get started. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, this is much better. <laughs> Alright, I look a little crazy, but I'm ready for this. Let's do the raspberry. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on camera, probably not, but it looks metallic, like sparkly. It does look like that, so you just rub it in. So as you may have already noticed, I have pretty long hair. So, I am going to use more product than most people will need, but I'm not going to bother too much with the bottom of the hair because it's mostly going to be worn like this anyway, but um, I am going to put a little bit on the bottom. By the way, if you are interested in... <laughs> If you're interested in hair related videos, I have an entire playlist of hairstyles and hair care stuff. So if, you, if you're into that stuff, I will link it at the end of the, this video. So if you're interested, you can go and check that out. So I'm almost there. La la la. <laughs> I 
I'm a little loopy because of the weather. So, yeah. Ah, well, not just because of the weather. <laughs> it's just my personality, but, uh, so yes. I am going to have a pink strand soon. Awesome. See the metallic? Cool, huh? <laughs> the instructions say that you have to comb through it. So I'm just going to use the thin part of this comb to kind of comb through it. You have to do that before it dries. So okay, we're going to do that. There we go. We're just going to let that dry. And while that dries, I'm going to start with the other color, but I'm going to wash my hands first. So yeah, it definitely comes off very easily. It came on very easily too. It has a... <laughs> I'm sniffing my hair. It has a very um, floral scent. And now we just let it dry. This is what the colors look like side by side. The raspberry is very bright and noticeable and the plum is a bit more subtle but still very nice. So I can tell you from the last time I tried it that it stays in a lot longer than just one day if you want it to. So obviously if you wash your hair with shampoo, it's going to come out very easily, which is nice because that's what it's for. But if you don't wash your hair every day, then it doesn't have to come out. So it actually stayed in for quite a few days um, last time. The only thing I noticed was that the ends faded away a little bit more, but that's also because I was braiding my hair a lot. So yeah, it, it's interesting to know that if you want it to last more than a day, you can make it last as long as you don't wash your hair, so yeah. <laughs> so what do I like about this product and what don't I like about this product? I like how convenient it is. It's very practical, it's very easy to use. It's just a gel, you know, you just put it on. It's quick and just simple, you know? And I love the fact that you don't have to use gloves or anything, that it doesn't stain your hands and your face and anything like that. That is just, I think that is probably the biggest plus for me because I hate all the messy stuff with the gloves and everything. And it didn't stain my floor either because I, I spilled on the floor and it didn't stain my floor, which is also good. I also really like that they thought about the different needs for brown hair and blonde hair and the different range of colors. Of course you can you can try some of the ones for blonde hair and your brown hair and the other way around, but I, I don't know, I really like that they thought about it because a lot of colors really don't show up well on brown hair or you know dark hair. So it's nice to know that these were developed specifically for brown hair. And for blonde hair but you know the blondes can use the stuff for brown hair on their hair but the other way around it's probably not going to show up very well so yeah I really appreciate that it's also pretty inexpensive which is nice of course the tubes aren't that big but as you saw I used a lot I used way more than I should have used and I have pretty long hair and it's the second time I've used it and it still feels like it's completely full so I think one tube will last you a long time. It says, the packaging says that it's not meant to use on your entire hair, you know, but I'm not really sure why. I mean, I think you could. With my hair, it might be a little difficult, but with shorter hair, why not? I would do it. <laughs> so yeah, once it's dry, it also doesn't come off on your hands anymore. And I have been swimming with it last time and I didn't submerge my entire hair with water, but a lot of my hair did get wet several times and I didn't notice it coming off and I also didn't notice any color in the pool. So I think 
if you would get caught in the rain wearing this, it would be fine. I'm not saying you should, you know, stand in the rain for hours wearing a white shirt. That might not be the best idea. I haven't tried that out, but um, I think it would be fine for, you know, the occasional bit of rain or water splashing on you. So that's good too. Is there anything I don't like about it? Not really. Um, I think it would be cool if they had like a gold color. They have a rose gold for the blonde hair, but uh, I think it would be cool to have like a bronze or a gold color for the brown hair. But that's just, you know, <laughs> the color range. So other than that, the fact that it get, does get a little bit hard, the texture of your hair does change a little bit. But you know, that's always the case with these products. And if you put a little bit of leave-in on your hair, that it feels completely normal again. So that's really not a big deal. So all in all, I would definitely recommend this product if you can find it because it is new. And I have noticed a lot of stores don't carry the range yet, but I will put links in the description box below of where you can get it and all the colors that are available. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you. If it was, please click the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, I will link that at the... Am I coloring my face? Oh, I am. Okay. Interesting. <laughs>